Hello, and welcome to Mitchell Consulting's webinar series for our Mitchell University. Today we're going to be working with SAP Business One, and we're going to talk about a functionality called Drag and Relate. This webinar is being recorded. It will be available on our website. You can visit us at www.mitchellgroup.com to view this and our other training videos. So again, today, for purpose of the demo, we are working with SAP version 8.82. And we're going to talk about a functionality called Drag and Relate. Drag and Relate is an on-the-fly, ad hoc reporting tool. This allows us to take certain information, like we can take a business partner or an item or a sales order, and then relate it to other types of data concerning that business partner item and so on. You can see here that we have our different tabs. So we have our cockpit, which is the standard cockpit here. We have our modules, which is what we're looking at here. And we have our drag and relate. The drag and relate allows us to de work with financials. So we can look at accounts, journal entries, and journal entry details. We can look at sales and AR. We can look at purchasing and AP. We can look at business partners inventory, production, and service. And we'll go through in a couple of these in details. Uh, we won't go through all because they all kind of relate the same way, but we'll show you what we're talking about. So for example, let's go into modules and let's open up an item master. Let's just do it here. So let's go to our common functions and let's open up an item master. We're going to select this item over here and we're going to look at this item here item A0001 the IBM InfoPrint 1312 printer so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to look at our drag and relate so we're going to go here and relate this item to, uh, to other information that is on the screen so here we're going to say we want to look at this information and we want to look at information concerning sales quotations. We can take any field here. For example, I'm going to grab the uh, item number. So we can drag it and relate it to quotations. This is going to let me see all the quotations. So here we kind of have right away all the quotations for this item. We can filter. So we can filter on what we see in the table. So we can look at, let's say, a, uh, a different type. So let's say we're looking at all of it, and we want to look at a certain um, business partner. Let's say we want to look at, say, Earthshaker Corporation. We can use our rules. So we can go to the vendor code or the vendor name. And we have some rules. In this case, we're going to say equal to. And we're just going to tab here. And we're going to put in equal to. If we put E, we'll grab our earth shaker. OK, we, so we have nothing in the screen there. So I'm going to actually type this in. Just make this a little bit bigger so we can see it on the screen. So I'm going to say equal to, and then uh, let's just clear this real quick. Let's just do it this way. Since let's copy it there. And you can see that we have the information. So we're looking at this filter here. So we're looking at the customer. Earth Shaker, we're looking at all the different quotes. We can use multiple filters. But we can also go into the status. Let's say the status is equal to open, and so on. Yeah, copy that. Like my 
typing, and so on. So we have information here that we can look at. So what we can do is, again, we can go to the quote and we can drag that information. We can also go, if we want to look at the quote details, since we're dealing with an item, because here in the quote we may be looking at all quotes for that item, but we want to see the actual detail. We can do the same thing, and we can grab any field on here. We can take the description, we can drag it and drop it or relate it to the sales details. And we'll here again we have our sales details. Again, we're looking at this one item. So we're looking at the quantity and the row and so on. So we're looking at all the information here related to that. We can do it multiple. So for example here we want to go into um, let's say inventory and we want to go to say warehouses Again, we can drag and drop see what we have here and we can see that this item is actually available in all our warehouses so again drag and relate is nice when you're looking at information let's say we're looking at this item we're doing the same thing we're looking at here so we have um, in this case in the warehouse we have committed, we have ordered, and available. So we can see we have a lot here on order. So we want to see what makes up the orders. So we know that's coming from the open PO system. So we're just going to go to purchase orders. And we're going to grab and drop it onto the purchase orders. And again, we can see all the purchase orders. We can filter on our status. And since we're working with an item, we're going to go to purchase order details, we're going to drag, and we're going to drop on purchase order details. And again, we can see here the quantities, again, and the information. So the drag relates a nice functionality. And again, it's just kind of an, an, a detailed on the fly, depending what you're working with. Uh, you can see certain information. So if we go into, let's say, in the modules, we go into, say, an AR invoice. Again, we can open up the last AR invoice we have here. And we can see here that in the accounting tab, we have our journal controls. But again, we can go into our drag and relate in our financials and we can drag and drop on journal entries. So we can see all the journal entries that are related to AR invoices for this customer. And again if we want to open one we simply click and here we're looking at the journal entry. So again the uh, drag and relate is a very nice functionality um, when you're dealing with information when you want to look at certain stuff, you can do the same across the board. Again, let's say we're in here and we're looking at a certain uh, account. Let's say we're looking at this account right here. And again, we want to now relate this account to something. Okay, we can do the same thing. We can take this account, we can drag it and drop it. Drag it and drop it on the journal entry details. And again, we're looking at all the journal entry details that relate to that general ledger account. So again, to recap, what we've seen is in SAP, we have a functionality called drag and relate. The drag and relate functionality allows us to do exactly what it says, it allows us to take a certain field from SAP and drag it or drop it onto some data and relate that field to the data. So again, we're going to look at here if we go to uh, business partners and we call up a business partner. Let's call up Earthshaker. Again, we have some information here. But now what we can do is we can open up our drag and relate and we're going to look at business partner information. So again, we can drag this information, grab it, drag it, drop it on payment terms. We can see his payment term. We can grab 
drag and drop on, let's say, let's see how many blanket agreements we have right now. Again, we can see we have two blanket agreements. So the drag or relate is kind of like, is part of what we call the SAP 360, kind of the uh, CRM function. So what I'm doing is I have it right here. Again, it just saves me time. I could have gone back to modules, gone to blanket agreements, in this case, do a search for blanket agreements or Earthshaker. But here, what I do is it's just a matter of in my drag and relate, I have everything I need. So again, I can go here and see what blanket orders I have, what campaigns I have going on. Let's see if we have any campaigns going on for this person. Okay, you can see we have all these campaigns that we've done. <laughs> and again, I can do it from a header level. So you're looking at, for example, the blanket agreement and the blanket agreement details. You'll notice that within the drag and relate, for example, you have the quotes and the quote details. So this is going to give you header information, as you saw, just a quote main information, quote numbers and amounts. And this is going to give you the line items. This holds true for all the uh, orders, so sales orders and details, and so on. They are invoices, details. You see that relates here, journal entries, and the journal entry details, as well as purchasing. You can have a purchase quote and the details, orders, and the details. So the details are giving you the line items, and the orders are kind of giving you the header information. Same holds true for the business partners. So here we're looking at, say, business partners' um, agreements and agreement details, campaigns, and campaign details. So if you drag and drop on the blanket agreements, you will see I have two blanket agreements. I could just click here and open up blanket agreement one and see the information this way. Or if I want to just get right to the details, I can grab and drag and drop right on the blanket details. So you can see here that this blanket agreement number one has three rows, three items attached to it. This one here has just one item attached to it. So again, it's a nice functionality. It's part of the, um, we call it part of the um, SAP Business One 360. So you can do that. And again, it could be anything related to this. Um, you know, typically, we grab the, the, uh, the number. We can do the same thing with campaigns. You can see we have all this, this campaign going on, number one. Okay, if we want to look at the details, we can go here and just drag and simple drop. And again, you can see here the information. So again, it's a very powerful tool in SAP, very simple to work with. It just allows me to relate given data. Again, it's a time saver. I don't have to go into the modules here. I wouldn't have to go to, for example, I would have to go to blanket agreement. I'm in fine mode. I would have to go here and put in E for Earthshaker. And then I can see that I have the two blanket agreements for Earthshaker. And then having selecting the one I want. And same with the campaign. I don't have to do that. All I have to do is go to my drag and relate. And very simple. Just like I have my contact people here, I can just drag and drop on contacts. That may be, that's probably useful if I'm actually in an order. Let's say I am dealing with uh, an invoice here. All right, here's my invoice. And I need to find out some contact information. I can do it right from the AR invoice. I can just drag and drop. And where's my contact person? And again, I can see the contact person. So again, it's just a nice on-the-fly tool. It's kind of an ad hoc reporting. This allows me to take data, you know, a piece of data, and relate it to other data. So in conclusion, let's see what we went over today. Um, today, we talked about the drag and relate functionality in SAP Business One. You can see here it's a separate menu. We have our modules, and we also have our drag and relate. We can drag and relate with financials, you can do information about the chart of accounts, as well as journal entries and journal details. We can drag and relate on all the marketing documents in the sales and AR module. You can do it at the header level, so you, so you can see for a quote here, as well as the detail, which is the lines for all the different orders. 
We can do the same with the purchasing and AP marketing documents. You can see here, we can look at business partner related information, activities, contacts, and so on. We can look at inventory, again, warehouses, manufacturers, shipping types. We can do production, look at production orders and production order details, as well as service and repair. So again, a simple thing, if we open up the item master, and we want to look at, say, production. We can just take this order. Let's see if there's any production orders. Probably not, because this is not a, uh, a production item. So we can also, if we, in this case, we want to look, we can also do it without the relating. We can just double click here. And since we're not relating, we're getting all production orders. We can see that these are items that are bill of materials. That first item wasn't a bill of material. But we can do it directly this way as well. Right, so if we just want to get a, uh, a glance at everything, we can do it this way. So if we're kind of like business partners, we just want to look at, say, payment terms, we can double click. And these are all the payment terms related to all the business partners because we didn't drag information from a specific business partner. Same with the campaigns or blanket agreements. We want to look at all blanket agreements. So in this case, you can see that there's actually three. There's the two from Earthshaker and the one from this other, this other um, business partner here. You can see that way. So we can do it one of two ways. We can just do it directly here. Again, we're looking at all the activities, for all the business partners, or we can select the business partner. And now, if we drag this business partner and we look at uh, activities, we're just going to get it for that. Uh, oops. Let me drag it and drop it. We're just going to get it for that business partner. So in essence, we have a little, uh, you know, we're kind of filtering internally on that. So these are the activities for the business partner. Okay, if we do it without the business partner, if we just double click on it, we're going to get the activities not only for that business partner, but all the other business partners as well. So again, it's a very nice tool. It's on the fly reporting. Clients love it. Again, it's part of the, we call the SAP 360, part of the CRM. Again, it just allows me to grab data, you know, be able to manage data, to bring it up basically all at one screen. So that concludes our webinar today for um, SAP Business One Drag and Relate. As we mentioned, this is being recorded. This will be available on our website, so you can visit us at www.mitchellgroup.com to view this as well as other of our webinar series. And we thank you for your time.